Hi everyone, it's my first YouTube video and I'm making it hopefully to help someone out there that had the same questions I did about the Topeak Versa cage and the Salsa Anything cage HD. Which one was better for my bike, which one would be easier to mount, which one I could mount in various formats on my bike. It was hard to decipher online, wasn't too many pictures out there, not too many videos either, and I guess that's why I'm making mine. I decided to buy both and a couple of other options, compare them all, and I sorted it out pretty nicely, thought I'd share it, hopefully help someone out. Start with the Topeak Versi Cage. It uh, comes with its own plastic style hose clamps. It's like a worm clamp that screws and compresses around, whether it's your fork or your down tube. It'll fit anything from 20 millimeter to 60 millimeter in diameter. And uh, for an example, not many bikes will have a 20 millimeter in diameter option for mounting. I had the Thule rack mount. This uh, thin silver bar you see here is exactly 20 millimeters. And with the existing rubber sleeve that the Versamon comes with, I was able to ratchet it down nice and snug around that bar and it wasn't moving. So it does go down to 20 millimeters. Uh, rest assured, you can clamp with the Versamon firmly onto a 20 millimeter diameter bar. Also comes with two Velcro straps to secure your load to the cage. I guess that would be the big difference with that compared to the Salsa Anything Cage HD. It comes with more robust uh, voile type straps where uh, they stretch and, and compress against your cargo really ratcheting it down tight, as well as does not come with any mounting hardware. Comes with uh, screws to directly longer screws than you would have for your standard water bottle cage that can pass through all this plastic and, and mount into your fork, but you need to have those existing mounts on your fork or on your frame for this salsa anything cage to work. And that was my question. Topeak Versa Cage uh, isn't uh, very widely available on the internet. I was lucky to source out a couple, but hard to find. Salsa Anything Cage. That was abundant in local shops around my area, online and plenty. So I was curious about the option of mounting the Salsa Anything Cage with the Topeak Versa mounts. The same ones that come with the cage the Versa cage when you buy it, but you can buy them separately in a pack of two. And those are also, uh, unlike the cage itself, pretty easy to find online. So I was curious if they would work with the Salsa Anything cage. Seemed like they would, but it was hard. There wasn't too many photos or videos online that really showed the rear of the cage in detail enough. And when I did get it and unbox it, uh, I was a little worried because I'll zoom in and I'll bring the phone down closer to show you guys in detail of what I'm looking at here uh, before you buy it. But there is a large channel down the back where at first glance doesn't appear that the Topeak Versa mount would sit nice and flush firmly up against. Looks like there might be some slippage. but. The spacing between this channel is just so that either side still fits nice and snug and firm up against the flat back of the Versa mount. I had that strapped to my fork and the Salsa Anything cage mounted to the Versa mount and it wasn't going anywhere. It was on solid. So rest assured, you can purchase the Salsa Anything cage HD get yourself a pack of Versa mounts. It's a two pack, depending on your mounting options. On my fork, two Versa mounts, one at the top mounting hole and one at the bottom mounting hole. 
seemed to be just fine for what I'd be carrying in that cage. The other option, the only other option I really thought would be viable was these SKS straps that you can find online as well. And they come with uh, a Velcro, which I assume would be pretty chintzy and flimsy and not ratchet firm enough around the posts I wanted to, to prevent anything from moving around and slipping. But the rear of the Velcro strap has a tacky rubber coating so it will work and it did work i attached it with the velcro itself and it worked fine but that wouldn't have been my intention purchasing this was solely to see if removing the velcro strap allowed me the opportunity to run zip ties through the channel where the velcro ran and zip tie it or use a stainless steel hose clamp be even firmer it's a soft tacky rubber on the inside it's, it's a v-channel that will fit around pretty much any diameter tube that's on your bike it works nicely with pretty much every tube I sat it against whether it was the seat post or the larger down tube it sat snugly and it was a great fit for the Versa cage and the salsa anything cage as well it sat nicely in as opposed to sitting flat up against either channel. It sat within the channel and once screwed down, wasn't going anywhere. So there's the option of buying these uh, sksgermany.com, SKS straps they're called, or the Topeak Versa mount and using those to mount either cage. And again, the other option of running to your hardware store and buying the stainless steel hose clamps uh, that are very similar to what you get with the Versa mount. It's basically a worm drive and as you screw in the screw, it pulls the strap tighter and tighter. The actual screw, the drive screw in the Versa mount is made of plastic and so is the strap. So you have to be cautious that you don't over tighten. In my case, I didn't have an issue as it got nice and snug. It never slipped. It kept pulling it in until it was snug up against my fork. I'm going to bring down the uh, phone, and zoom in on a few things and uh, show you exactly close up uh, what they all look like before you decide to make your purchase. All right, let's have a look. Hopefully I can zoom in and show you both these cages in as much detail as possible. Every little square inch can give you the best idea of what they both look like before you decide to purchase either. On the left, you have the Salsa Anything HD cage, and on the right, here is the Topeak Versa cage. The cages themselves, same height from top to bottom. A little bit different shape with the toe peak. They have a cutout here, which probably lends to the, uh, the first difference is where the uh, straps run, the straps that will secure your cargo down. With the Salsa Anything cage, you have to weave through these two points here where you have the double holes. And then you'll have one strap slightly down from the top and one strap slightly up from the bottom. With the toe peak, the top mounting strap sits higher on the cage than with the uh, Salsa Anything. And the bottom, you have the option of having it run through the very bottom or just up from the bottom. Not a big difference, but if your cargo is slightly tall, a larger, a taller cylinder or your bag is packed enough so that it's, it's tall, it's nice to have the strap on the toe peak right at, at the very limit, right at the top, securing down your, your package and uh, less unsecured load sticking up from the top of the cage. The other difference is the mounting holes. The first three, the very bottom, middle, top, 
pretty much identical placement. Topeak has one extra at the top here, which will give you more leeway as to whether you mount the cage high or low on your bike. And the last difference I had mentioned earlier, and I'll be able to hopefully show it here in much detail, is how much sleeker the Topeak cage is along the back and how much more closer it'll mount up against your fork or your frame. So there's the mounting holes and nothing else. The cage will butt up right up against your fork or your frame. No extra plastic space in between. Salsa anything cage, you can see right away the extra channeling and viewing it from the side. Your fork or your frame will sit right here and they'll be roughly a little more than half an inch space between your fork or your frame and the cage itself. While I have the Salsa Anything cage here, I'll show you when I mentioned that the Versa mount at first glance might look like it won't be a perfect fit up against the back of this cage. But it's wide enough where both edges of that plastic channel have real estate on the Versa mount where it can sit flush up against and bolt down tightly up against and not move. Give you a better view here. See there. Lastly, I'll show you the SKS mount that comes with the Velcro. I've removed the Velcro. Plenty of room to run zip ties through or stainless steel hose clamp and that will sit perfectly up against the channel on the Salsa Anything cage. And with the Topeak Versa cage, completely flush up against the back. Salsa anything cage comes with the Volet style straps and Topeak Versa cage. Comes with the prepackaged Versa mounts, three Versa mounts. straps with a buckle wrap around a cargo cage
that close-up look gave you a better idea of exactly what the Topeak, Thursday Cage, and Salsa Anything KJHD look like, as well as their mounting systems. If you have any other questions about these things that I may have not addressed, uh, feel free to send me a message and hopefully I can uh, answer your questions. I think the only other thing I can address is if you were going to mount the Salsa Anything Bag HD to either of these cages. This is the, the bag that I'll be running and I'll be using these guys up front on both sides of the fork. One bag will have my sleep system, uh, sleeping pad, Dermarest sleeping pad. The other bag will have my spare clothes, both uh, nice light objects to keep up front on the steering. The Salsa Anything Bag HD fits perfectly in the Salsa Anything Cage HD as you would expect. The circumference of the cage bottom matches, pairs perfectly hand in glove with the bag. The Topi Cage, slightly different circumference. The rounded bottom of the cage doesn't pair up perfectly with the rounded bottom of the bag, but it still attaches securely. I've had the toe peak cage attached to the front fork and I've strapped the bag down. You'll see if I run the light through, you'll see there's a slight gap in behind the base of the bag. Only because the base of the bag is rigid and a slightly different circumference. But once the rigid portion of the bag transitions to the soft shell, then it gets it gets squished up against the back of the cage, no problem. In fact, because the Topeak Versa cage is slightly sleeker and less plastic built up at the back, even with the bag not buttoned up perfectly at the bottom, the entire cargo package itself protrudes less away from the bike than the Salsa Anything cage with the Salsa Anything bag. All together, especially using the Versa mount, which adds an extra inch of spacing, the entire cargo pack package sits further, protrudes further from the bike, extends further than using the Salsa Anything bag with the Topi cage. Not a huge difference, just saying that you can use either or. Whichever cage you think is going to work best for your bike, you can still buy with confidence the uh, Salsa Anything HD bag and run it perfectly, whether it's with the Velcro straps or the Volet style straps. The other use I was intending to have for these cages was at the rear of my bike. I was going to strap down a Nalgene style bottle to either of these cages and have it mounted at the rear of my bike on the 20 millimeter upright bar of the Thule rack here. I tried it out, but and it, it worked great and it secured my Nalgene bottle, even Velcro or Volet, I'd probably go with the Volet straps. It really cinched down the bottle to the cage, but it was a hassle and water to get in and out isn't something you wanna have to mess around with every time I'm clipping the straps or detaching the Velcro. So I'm still gonna run the water at the back, but I'll show you, uh, I have arriving shortly from uh, Widefoot, they call it their leader cage, and it's a water bottle cage, larger water bottle cage that fits the Nalgene um, diameter bottles, as well as any other similar bottle Hydro Flask, if you want an insulated bottle, that'll work just fine. And I'll be using the Versa mount, attaching two, maybe three. They'll be arriving shortly and I'll, I'll get that all squared away. I'm thinking two will be enough. I might share a video once that's all set up. If you have uh, any interest in that, 
send me a message and uh, I'll either reply with the outcome or, or make a video to share if there's enough people interested. The other items coming, if there's any interest in, I can share. I'll be getting the Revelate uh, Salty Bags to sit up on both front and rear racks. I'm going to uh, strap down the Salty Bags with a new Volet rack strap, they call it. Volet style strap, but with special clips that attach directly to the 10 millimeter pannier style bars, rack bars on either side and the strap ratchets down over top of the load. And the last item coming is from Revelate as well. This is their down tube bag they call the Joey down tube bag and I'll have that just underneath my down tube in front of the, the crank set keeping heavier tools getting that nice and low at the center of the bike um, along with my Blackburn and Outpost frame bag and arrow bars, the Thule racks. If any of this uh, rig system interests you or you have questions about, let me know and uh, I'll be happy to, to share. I'm running everything on my specialized Stump Jumper Marathon 29er carbon frame. And so far it's been doing great. The most recent addition is the uh, Selly SMP saddle. That's been a very welcomed addition and makes riding so, so much more comfortable. If you have any questions about that as well, send me a message. Or if you just want to say hi to your fellow bike packer and I want to reach out, that would be great too. Like I said, this is my first YouTube video and it's all I'm really trying to get out of it is hopefully uh, help someone else out there and and answer any of your questions and like I said uh, I'll take the time and make another video if, if uh, I get some likes and uh, people want to subscribe to uh, this channel then I'll add, I'll add some more stuff and take the time and, and uh, hopefully uh, put some content out there that, that might help you guys with uh, anything that I'm currently working on. All the best.